Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sumit Goyal and uh, today I am going to tell you about the visual force flows. That how what is a flow in visual force and how to create a flow or a visual force flow in sales force. So first of all let's understand about the flow that what are flows basically. So visual force flows it, it allows to automate business process by building application known as flows that collect, update, edit and create Salesforce information. Flows can execute logic, interact with Salesforce database and basically the elements, resources and connectors, they are the building blocks of flows. Now each element represents an action that the flow can execute such as reading or writing Salesforce data, displaying information and collecting data from flow users. Uh, so, so each resource represents a value that you can reference to the flow and uh, flows can be run in the designer directly from a visual flows page or we can use the URL also. So basically there are two ways to uh, execute the flows. First is the URL method or second is we can embed the flow in a visual flows page. And we can use flow to execute DML operations with your own objects or execute more complex operations like posting by creating a new Apex class. And so, and to create a visual force flow, we will be going to use the flow designer tool for creating flows, configuring, configure screens and define branching logic without writing any code. So let's start creating a flow and later on we'll be see that how to execute that flow or how to run that flow. So like as I told you there are two ways to execute that flow so I will be going to explain you both the ways. So first of all let me log into my Salesforce. As you can see here I have already logged into my Salesforce. Now what I wanted to do is I want to create a flow. So my scenario is I have to create a flow and in that flow I want to save the, I want to save the record into account object. So let's see how to create a flow. So to creating a flow, what we have to do is we have to go to create workflows and flows. Click on this flows. So once you click on the flow, it will open up. So basically as you can see over here, visual flows, workflows lets you easily build and manage flows and uh, Right. So now I wanted to create a new workflow over here or new flows basically. So I click on new flow. It's opening right now. So maybe a question comes in your mind that why do we use flow? that we can create a visual force page that why the flow is required. So basically the, if there are the people or there are people of the, who are from non-programming backgrounds, they can also create a visual force page without writing any code. Right. So they can take the help of flows and they can create a visual force page easily without writing any code and without, uh, or you can say this, they can create a page very easily, right. So I close this. Now I wanted to create a flow over here. So you can see the, this is the design window over here or design section. So I wanted to create a flow. So I, you see we have a user interface. So I drag this screen over here and drop it here. Just drag and drop. Here we have to assign a name to this particular screen. So I give a name to this screen. Uh, let's say screen 1. This is the unique name. Then I want to add a field. This will be my welcome message or the first screen is my welcome screen. So I simply just drag and drop over here, display text. Select this display text and give a name over here, welcome. And here for the message or the text which I wanted to display in the display text field. So I write here, welcome to my first visual force visual force, force, sorry, flow, page. Simple and click on OK. So see my first screen is ready. How easy to create a screen over here. Now I wanted to create a second screen because in my second screen I am going to get the input from the user. So I drag and drag and drop another screen, screen 
two, right? Add fields. Now I want to do add fields. Now I want input boxes. So I drag a text box. One, two, three text boxes. First text box label will be this will be the label. Label will be let's say account name. This is the unique name. If you want to assign any default value, you can add a default value over here. This is for make it mandatory. You can see over here while I'm checking this. Once I when I check this, you can see a red line over here. That is for it indicates that this is a mandatory field. Okay. Then select second text box. Here is phone. Third one is let's say fax. And click on OK. Now, when we execute our flow or when we run our flow, what it will do is it will show us the screen one, then it will show a screen two. In a screen two, we'll input the data. Once we input the data, what do we want is we want to save the data into account object. So to saving and data, so we have few data options over here: record, create, record, update, record, lookup, record, delete. Now I wanted to create a record, so I simply drag and drop record create. I assign a name to this. Let's say I use the same name record create. Now which object I want to associate with these fields over here the fields we have created over here there are three fields one is account name then we have account uh, then we have phone then we have fax so i want to associate those fields with the account object field so from here i select standard object account this is basically and in this account object what are the fields so i click over here standard and we can see all these are the account object fields over here. So first is name and it is associated with my screen input field account name. Right? Then we have three fields basically name, phone and fax. So I'll go for the second one standard and here I choose phone screen input. Basically input is for getting the data from the user. Output is for displaying the value. Right? screen input and phone third one add row again and this is for fax so I select over here fax screen input field fax and okay this so this is basically it's like a link up so I have linked my fields which are in the flows to the fields which are in the account objects so now they are associated to each other click on OK. Now once the record is saved I want to show a thank you message also. So for here I again go up and drag fourth screen and this is let's say screen 3 and I want to add a text field over here display text drag it select field settings thank and I write here thank you for creating a new record and click on OK. So now the screens are ready. That's all I wanted to do is but this, these screens are right now they are independent. They are not connected to each other. So I wanted to put them in a flow that which will be our first screen then if I will do some action, so it will display the second screen, then third screen, like that. So this will be my first screen. After this, I want to show this, I want to go to second screen. So I simply, you see this diamond symbol. This, uh, this diamond symbol, basically it is for connectivity. So I will connect this to this page number two. It is connected now. Then after page two, on page two, I want to run the record create data object over here so I click connect to this one so basically what is the function for this record create the function for this record create data set or data over here is to save the record into object 
and after that once the record is saved successfully it will be going to display a thank you message or thank you screen so I connected this to screen number 3 while executing this you will not be able to see this part you will be only able to see the screens this is a background process so this this is a this basically is a background process handled by the flows in Salesforce and later on right now so my flow is ready but now when I execute the flow which will be the first screen or I can say that for example every website has a home page so same here every flow as a home screen or the first screen so which will be our first screen over here so what I wanted to show is I want this screen number one to be my first screen while executing a flow so you see there is a symbol over here icon over here set is starts element this is on every screen basically so what I am going to do is I am going to click on this set as start element once and now this screen one will be set as a starting screen and what I am going to do is I am going to save this flow what will be the name of the flow so the name of the flow is let's say account or new account flow this is the name of the flow and click on ok now the flow is saved and ready to execute now as I told you in the beginning that there are two ways to execute the flow number one is the URL method and number two is the uh, embed this flow or embed this flow in a visual post page so I'm going to tell you both the ways so let's see the number one step or number one way to execute this flow in the URL so how to do that what you have to do is you have to simply first of all what is the name name is new account flow so here what I have what I'm going to do is I'm going to write flow and the name new account flow and you see the flow is executed now and we can see our first screen over here this is our screen number one welcome message welcome to my visual post flow page I click on next when I click on next it will take me to screen two in screen two I, I can enter the few data over here account name phone and fax so I enter a phone number phone account name over here let's say TCS phone number fax number click on next now if you remember in between screen 2 and screen 3 there was a data flow over there so that data flow will not going to be display over here that is a background process so when I click on next what is doing so it's loading it means it is loading the data into the account object so once the data is successfully saved or loaded into the account object it will display the third screen that is the thank you screen and now if you want to go and check whether your data has been saved or not so you can simply go to Salesforce and you can check it so as you can see over here I have clicked on I have clicked on accounts then I can see the account name is TCS which we entered over there so this is a one way to execute the flow now I'm going to tell you the second way what is the second way the second way is to embed the uh, flow into our visual post page so for this what we have to do is first of all we have to create a visual post page so let me create a visual post page in my previous videos I have already explained how to create a visual post page so let me go in, let me go and create a visual post page FX and my flow page one let's say my flow page one this is the name of my visual post page wait because this page does not exist I hope so so this will display an error as you can see here the page does not exist so it displays an error so what I'm going to do is what I want to do is I want to create a page over here so I click on create page my flow page one so it will create the page over here now I click on this icon and remove the existing code over here and 
I want to execute my flow over here. So how to execute a flow? So to run a flow, what you have to write is you have to write here flow. The syntax is flow colon interview and name is equal to the name of the flow. The name of the flow is new account creation. Let's let's check the name of the flow. What is the name of the flow? Click on setup, create workflows, flows. Okay, so the name of the flow is new account flow. Basically not new account creation, it will be new account flow and save the page. Once you save the page, if everything is okay, you can see that flow will execute over here. See this? It's executed over here. Welcome to my first Visual Force Flow page. Click on Next. You can enter any detail over here. Let's say Lenovo, phone number, fax. Click on Next. I've got a thank you message over here. Click on Finish and it will again take me to the first page. Once I click on finish, it basically it's in a loop. So it will again take me back to the first page. Now let's go and check whether the record has been created or not. So I click on account and I can see the name over here, Lenovo. So like this, you can create a visual force flow in a, in a sales force and you can execute the flow. So that's all in my video. I hope you like this video. And uh, I will be come up with some new more topics in my new videos. So till then, bye bye. Have a nice day.